A state house candidate tears down her opponent's sign near the village of Tijeras. And now that candidate is coming to her husband's defense, saying he did the right thing. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with the video and what both sides have to say. Francesca. Madeline Greg Schmadies posted this video to Facebook, calling it disappointing. But his opponent, his opponent is firing back, saying there's more to the story. It's election season throughout New Mexico and tensions are running somewhat high, even leading to a fight over campaign signs in the Tijeras area. We have a lot of folks that put up campaign signs. In our opinion, we just ask one simple rule. You request, you, you request to put up a sign. It started when Canyon de Conway land grant officials say Greg Schmades, the Republican House District 22 candidate, didn't ask permission to post a sign on the property near Roosevelt Middle School in Tijeras. We still own the land, we still maintain the land, and all we ask is that you respect us as a community. Schmades' opponent, Democrat Jessica Velasquez, says her husband saw the sign and contacted the land grant, and Velasquez claimed they gave him permission to do this. If someone asks you to remove a sign from their land, you do it. But Schmady says he had the okay from the principal of the school and thought his sign was on public property. It kept getting torn down multiple times and stolen and we, uh, we just wanted to find out who was taking the signs. Frustrated, he hit a camera near his sign and caught his opponent's husband in the act, then posted the video to Facebook. But land grant president Moises Gonzalez says both the sign and the camera were set up illegally. It bothers me that you have somebody that is running for office that doesn't even know the state statutes for governing land grant communities. Gonzalez says they aren't concerned with candidate politics. They just want their community treated fairly. Respect the land grant, the, the community of Carnwell that's been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. The sign won't be going back up, but Schmady says after the election, he hopes to become an advocate for the land grant community. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Francesca. Gonzalez says he mil will meet with the Board of Trustees to decide if they will take any legal action against Schmady's.